Welcome back to my channel, everyone. In this episode, I am excited to show you uh, another way of cooking ovimasima or brisket. Stay tuned or keep watching and I will show you how. Let's start cooking. Okay, everyone, these are the ingredients for our brisket rub. I have mustard powder, chili, garlic powder, onion powder, sweet paprika, black pepper, salt, and brown sugar. Okay, let's go ahead and mix everything in a Ziploc bag so it's easy to mix up every ingredient. On that note, I realized that there's a spice mix or a rub already available at some supermarkets. I know some parts of the world, they have a lot of different brisket rub available in their local supermarket. I couldn't find one. And if you're in Australia and you happen to find one, please comment below so you can help me out or direct me to where I can find one for me to try. Otherwise, I'm happy to use what I've got here at home, but it'll be nice to find a blend or you know some spices already mixed up. Give it a good shake. Everything can mix up well. Shout out to my brother and Utah for sharing this recipe with me. So thank you for sharing your way of cooking the Bobby Masima. Okay, so our brisket rub is ready. Just leave it on the side for now and I'll go ahead and wash our brisket or Bobby Masima. So I'm just preparing the foil to wrap our bovi or our brisket. So we will start with one piece. Normally the way we cook uh, bovi masima is we boil it for quite some time. Everyone cooks it uh, differently. When I grew up, I saw my mom boiling the bovi and then change the water. Because it was sitting in salt for who knows how long, you know, obviously it was preserved in salt for quite some time. So the, the beef or the brisket will be um, salty. And so mom would boil the um, bovi. And once it boils, and then she'll take the water out, wash it and then change a new water and then boil it again. That way it will take out the saltiness in the bovi when it's cooked with the brisket. But this recipe that was inspired by my younger brother, we are going to steam the brisket. So I'll add my brisket rub here. I can literally smell, you know, the different spices and I can just imagine the, the taste of the bovi. It's going to taste really nice already, if you know what I mean. So I'll give it a good mix or I'll just dab it to the meat. I won't rub it, but I'll just press it down to the meat so the flavoring or the spices can stay on to the meat. Okay, turn it over and add some more to the other side. We'll keep doing that, making sure that all the Spices are stuck on the beef or the brisket, and we will now wrap our brisket with foil. Just like you're wrapping your Christmas gift or birthday gift.
Okay, fans and friends, our bovimasima or our briskets are now ready. We will steam our brisket for about two to three hours, and then I'll check, but I'm gonna steam it on the oven. If you have, well, if you're doing just one, you're more, more than welcome to steam it in an instant pot, and, and that will be a lot quicker. But because I've got three pieces here, it's not gonna fit in my instant pot, so I'm just gonna steam it um, on the oven for about three hours, I would say. But I will confirm everything and how long it takes me to cook when it's done. Okay, I have my pot here on my steamer. I'm going to add my briskets to the pan. So I've got two in the lower level and I've got one in the upper level. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover the pot very well and then I'll add the lid on. So that will be boiling away for two, three hours. I'll check or I'll keep checking the water as well so the water doesn't run out and burn the pot. And I'll come back and let you know. See you in two hours, everyone. Our bovi masima is pretty much ready now from the steaming process. It has been steaming for about two hours and a half. I had a sneak peek of the meat and it's pretty much done the way I want it. So it's nice and soft now. So I'm going to turn the oven off and I will open um, one of them to show you. It took me two hours and a half. It might be different for you, but uh, that's exactly how long it took me to cook the meat. And now I'm ready to move on to the next part of the recipe. Looks really good and it's nice and cooked too. It's exactly how I want it. it. Smells really good too, families and friends. I can't wait to taste our bovi masima, a different way of cooking it. I'm going to take it out now. Nice and cooked now and smells really good too with all those spices. The juice is still in the foil. Okay, so we'll quickly grill our bovimasima. You can eat it like this if you want, serve it like this, but I like to have a bit of char on it and it's literally cooked. So. Looks good everyone. Let's go ahead and taste our Bobby, if you can see me. <laughs> um, got some bananas here. And dalu. All right. Whew. Look at that. Looks delicious. Yummy. Mm, yum. Very nice and tasty. I will recommend you trying this recipe. It's really nice. Well, that's our cooking from the kitchen of Meals with Mills. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please hit the button below and come back for more videos. Take care, stay safe, catch up with you in the next episode. Bye for now.